The marketplace continues to change and evolve in the rigid inflatable boat market, and what people are looking for is larger boats with more features. Now, this is for a couple of reasons. They take their cruiser out to anchor and use a boat like this for more touring, or for an awful lot of people, boats like this high field are becoming their primary boat where they can trailer it or keep it at a marina in the water. So we're going to take a closer look at the features and the performance of this high field DL640. The Deluxe DL640 is the largest of Highfield's recreational boat line. It's built on the proven hull design of their Ocean Master Series, a rib designed for open water conditions. Upgrading the design to the DL Series as features recreational customers have identified. The DL640's hull is made from 4mm thick marine grade aluminum. Unlike fiberglass hulled ribs, the internal structure of the aluminum hull's multiple stringers and bulkheads are stronger and lighter. All components are welded, primed with a zinc chromate, and then powder coated and baked. The result is a thick, hard finish that resists corrosion, scratching, and chipping. Highfield even installs a keel guard. Integrated under the self draining deck in the hull is a 150 liter fuel tank. At the bow are integrated anchor locker, storage locker, and fuel inlet. At the stern, the DL line incorporates a new transom design with an improved engine well and full width seat incorporating storage with cushions and padded backrests. The optional radar arch adds to the 640's appearance and will prove functional with a pair of welded cleats, tow point mount, and space for future electronic arrays, lights or speakers. Welded to the hull are lifting points and tow eyes. The Deluxe Line's tube fabric is Volmex PVC with welded, not glued seams. They are 56 centimeter or 22 inch in diameter with flush non-return valves. Other features include final grab handles forward, the heavy duty rub strakes, safety lines aft, and an integrated bow step with mooring cleat and roller. Orca Hypalon fabric is optional as are several color choices and combinations. The helm console is molded fiberglass with a straightforward layout for the instruments, switches, and binnacle shift and throttle that leaves space for flush mounting electronics. The forward integrated jump seat base opens for storage and under the backrest cushion is access to the backside of the helm for service. The helm seat is a stand-up bolster seat with a fold-down footrest should you choose to sit. The height of the seat is also adjustable with three fixed positions. The optional and desirable T-top finishes off the helm nicely and provides mounting points for additional storage. The performance and handling characteristics of the DL640, even when lightly loaded, cannot be faulted. Acceleration runs were good with virtually no bow rise. The bow lifts briefly, drops, and the boat runs flat. The hull was even able to stay on plane as low as 16 miles per hour. Full speed sprints over 50 exhibited no inclination to chine walk. While calm, crossing wake showed how dry the 640 runs, with the spray well aft and deflected down by the tubes.